morning guys um you know i'm here again fishing at the old pond that i always well one of the few ponds that i fish uh the mill pond i'm gonna be casting this lure with that being said we're just gonna be looking for pike because today is the second saturday of uh, may that's the opening of pike for some reason back up in here in canada so we're pretty much gonna be just going for pike you know what I mean? If anything, you know, latches on, whatever, I'll show you. But uh, bass are not legally, uh, you know, you're not supposed to catch them, so, you know, I'm not going for that. But yeah, let's stay, let's watch this and see what happens. <laughs> so. Oh, the camera. Oh. Oh, okay. One sec. I cut this one. I know it's not legal, but my camera was recording. I gotta put it back. So, you know, let's put it back. So at least we caught something. I didn't really think I was gonna catch something on that. I um, was so actually trying to go for a pike that I saw swimming and I saw it on top of the water. Splashing and stuff. So. I use this, but I didn't expect to pass that. Alright, let's go. I mean, I wasn't going for bass, like I told you guys. My explanation is, you know, just to like, so people in the comments are not like, oh, that's illegal, this and this and that. Or tell me, you know, uh, why would you use that lure? Well, you know what I mean? I, I, I didn't break down much tackle, so. I brought my bag, but I left some of my stuff in the car. If anything, look. I was actually hoping to use these uh, trout worms. Uh, actually, like I actually put them on worm, um, on just like hooks, weightless hooks, and I just kind of cast them up there. I was actually gonna go for a few crappy bluegill, whatever. But then I was like, you know, let's go for a pike because I know they're here. So I saw the swim bait, and then I was like, you know, there's a lot of. I actually just lost my. Uh, my lipless crankbait, I actually broke off and I was actually like mad. I don't know, I didn't catch that on camera, but I was like, like I had to, st I has cause I, you saw how it was. It's very like a lot of, a lot of trees, a lot of like, you know what I mean? So it's kind of hard to get a cast, kind of hard to like make a cast and the line not go over like, you know, some, some plant just sticking out and then, you know, it gets stuck there as you're reeling it back in. Uh, happened like more than a few times. So I kind of had to pretty much, uh, I kind of had to pretty much, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, just start using lures that I know, weedless lures you can call them, I guess. I really do, I mean, there's decent fish if you actually go out of your way and look for them, but you have to go out of your way. You have to really, you know, drive out of the city sometimes. Uh, just because I, I look at some people in the States, like YouTubers and all that, like the ones in the States. Some of the ones that like, they catch in Florida and the ones they catch in like just Texas and all those fish, I'm like, those are 10 pounder. Like I said, um, it was I was coming this way because I wanted to go for pike but I had to stop at that pond before you know just because I'll have those what if I didn't go there or you know there could have been a fish etc etc so yeah this is the creek crazy or not my phone just fell in the water I went to reach it and check this let me know if you guys oh yeah you guys can see that so that's a little catfish I think I'm gonna try and catch it somehow Oh, it's not. Oh, it's a catfish. Okay, hold up. Okay, where did he go? Where did he go?
that would have been a decently uh <laughs> just the fish i can show you guys though i guess they're here and the water stinks and i don't want to be searching in that stuff but as you guys saw it it's it, it was a catfish it was a de uh, i don't know what kind of catfish it was it had like different kind of whiskers oh it's right here it's not a catfish but i see it i wonder if i can reach for it oh it's that this produces I know for a fact it's almost it's pretty much the same because I caught a lot of fish just by letting it like jerk and then just let it like flow you know jerk flow so pretty much that's the technique with this you pretty much like either work fast or you can like twitch and just small twitches and they'll just move like you know side to side so And it just popped out. Woo! We got what we came for, guys. Oh man, that's that's just awesome. It was a nice fight. I actually thought it was a small mock, it wasn't so slimy. So yeah, one more look. It's a nice fish. Let's let this guy go right here. And off you go, buddy. Oh yeah. That was nice, that was nice. Here we are going down the hill, the rocky hill. It's a long way actually. I can either sprint, <laughs> but it's not safe. Then again, I'm not a safe guy. Thing is, I expect a lot of fishermen to be out here today because it's walleye and pike season opening. So, the only thing that will stop them from coming is this weather. That's No, 2 o'clock right now, 2 p.m. I mean, I only caught one walleye, but, you know, it's better than nothing. So, yeah, I mean, I was using this thing that a guy gave me, if anything, like the plastic. Because uh, he literally caught, like, four. So, I mean, I was... Uh, I literally started casting at the same spot that he was casting. And nothing. I mean, nothing, but... I did catch the one, so, you know, that's something. And I was using this the whole time. Because I did break off, like, uh, a walleye deep diver lure. There's too many rocks in there. So, it's definitely much better to just lose a bunch of jig heads, you know, than hard baits. So, that's what I was doing the whole time. And then, yeah, there was a lot of nice people there. I met this little kid who was fishing with his uncle. He didn't want to touch worms apparently, but you know, you kind of have to sometimes. But yeah, it's another day and I'm pretty much, pretty much done. Because I just realized, I'm like, oh, I just have to catch a bigger one. But it did not happen, so you know, it's fine. Next day, I mean next week or maybe sometime soon, we can come back and catch a bigger walleye or a pike. So yeah, thank you for watching. Let's go.